Let's do just a couple of quick examples on some basic probabilities. So first off, we need some vocabulary and some symbols. So the first one, the set of all possible outcomes for any experiment is called the sample space. And one of the first things we need to know is how many elements are in our sample space. How many possible outcomes are there all together? We're going to use n and then followed by an s in parentheses. So the number in your sample space. So capital S is going to be the symbol for sample space. Now this next one, this next symbol we'll talk about, n of e, it's the symbol for the number of favorable outcomes. So in each of these, we will be asked for what's the probability of something particular happening. That particular thing we're looking for is going to go by E, or it will be actually be called out in each of our examples. But N of E is the number of favorable outcomes. There are two different versions for probability that you'll see. One is called empirical probability. So this is based on an experiment or an observation. And you'll get a table. So this comes with a table comes with a table that has all of the outcomes listed and their probabilities. Okay? Or a theoretical probability, and this we get our values of n of s and n of e, either by actually physically counting 1, 2, 3, 4, or using some of the counting techniques that you've studied. So I have a quick little example to show you how it works. I have a collection of candy. So hopefully you can tell the different colors on there. I have some pink wrapped candy, some blue wrapped candy, silver, and green wrapped candy. OK, so when I talk about the probability, right, so here's what, if the experiment is to choose one piece of candy, what is the probability that the candy I choose is blue? So I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to mix all the candy up, and I'm reach in there and grab one. What's the probability I chose a blue candy? So the way we do this is we count how many candies are wrapped in blue and divide it by the number in the sample space. So we can see that there's one blue candy and 10 total candies, one-tenth. Yes, you can write that as a fraction, as a decimal, or as a percent. Those are all valid probabilities. Okay. So probability that I choose a silver piece of candy, one, two, three, four silver candies. I still have 10 candies there to choose from, so 4 tenths. 0. 0.4, 40%, 2 fifths. Right? Any of those would be perfectly good probabilities. Okay. Now I add, added a little uh, layer here on this third question. What's the probability the candy I pick is not green? So you can use a complementary idea if you would like, or since I don't have that many pieces of candy here, we could just count how many candies are not green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths in any one of its versions. OK, before I let you go, let's just do some values that probabilities can be. So probabilities are always numbers. Probabilities um, are always between 0 and 1. Okay. You can't have a probability that's negative or bigger than 1. If the probability is 0, the event is impossible. If the probability equals 1, the event is guaranteed. Okay. So if I look at my candy here, 
what's the probability that I choose a red candy? It would be zero because I don't have any red candy. Okay. What's the probability I choose a piece of chocolate? It's one because all of these candies, regardless of what color they're wrapped in, is made of chocolate. Okay. 